All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So it's looking like we have some breaking Jets news here. Denzel Mims requesting a trade. His agent put out a little statement on Twitter. It's like a paragraph or two, basically saying that, hey, you know what, Denzel, he's he can't really seem to crack the starting lineup. Joe Douglas has always done right by Denzel and that they trust, uh, J, uh, trust JD to find a trade partner. I think a release is a possible option. If I take a second and I put myself in Denzel Mims' shoes, I gotta be honest, I, I can't blame him. I, I really can't. Yes, I know he hasn't really produced. Yes, I know he hasn't really gotten into the games, but at the end of the day, he's still a really young football player. We go back and we look at what he did in college. He was ultra productive. What did he have in 2019, his, last, his senior season at Baylor? I think he had like 12 touchdowns, over a thousand receiving yards. This guy was an absolute monster, just unstoppable, right? And he, it wasn't just the senior year where he had success. I mean, he was really productive, uh, really productive throughout the course of his Baylor career. Comes to the New York Jets, initially dealt with injuries, finally got in the game and flash, right? That Kansas City game, uh, I, I think he actually, I think funny enough, he actually played with Joe Flacco his first season there back in the Adam Gaze era. Uh, but at the, man, when I look at Denzel, I wish it worked out, but I'm wishing him nothing but the best. You know, if he does get traded, if he does get released, whatever the case is, I'm a Denzel Mims fan. I think there's a lot of likable traits there. He has size. He's six foot three. He's, he is over 200 pounds. I think he does a really good job at boxing guys out. Um, is he perfect? No. Is he a top five, top 10 wide receiver? No, but I think he makes a lot of sense for teams like the Chicago Bears. I think Mims to the Bears makes a ton of sense. Chicago desperately needs playmakers. You know, all, all these teams that need a wide receiver, I wouldn't be opposed. Uh, like if I was, you know, the, if I was Chicago running the team, I think I would flip a late round pick to go get Denzel Mims. I think I really would. Uh you know, again, it hasn't really worked out. He hasn't really put up the numbers or the stats or, and I, it feels weird saying he's a bust. I just feel like he doesn't really fit the system all that well in, in, in New York. Really, that's what it comes down to because, you know, early in his rookie season, like he was out there making plays. He looked more, he, he looked better than a lot of the wide receivers that we had on the roster at the current time. So I don't know. It, it's, it's kind of a tough pill to swallow, but I can't say I'm all, all that surprised. But I want to reiterate, I'm a big Denzel Mims fan. I, I, I hope he lands somewhere and gets an opportunity uh, to start and maybe in a system that he fits. Um, so anyway, I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.